and the feature race is go for Formula 2. Bullet getaway for our championship leader. Not what Fittipaldi wanted. He's lost a position and moving up to second place goes doing on the podium yesterday. Beckman is going to challenge Fittipaldi as they all try to make their way on the exit of La Source. That was Vesti off the road and into the gravel. Now trying to retake P2. Thinking better of it is doing up to second position. Up to fourth goes Beckman. Championship leader is the race leader as they make their way through Radion for the first time. It's Dragovic, then Duan, then it's Fittipaldi and Beckman, a winner here in the third tier before, is trying to improve his position to the podium now. Fittipaldi has not got the getaway that he needed and he might be about to lose another place. Side by side we go. Bold move. Great move. P3 for Beckman. Yeah, unfortunately, second and third on the grid just did as Dennis Hauger goes up the inside of Armstrong into turn six. Lawson to the inside, Lawson making it work, an evasive action required from Fittipaldi, who's ahead on track, and they will argue about that one. Someone off. There, it's Teo Porcher. Teo Porcher is wide and losing a couple of positions. Hauger goes through. He's going Armstrong slow. He's goes going through, slow. and he's got a problem. The driver second in the championship. This could be pivotal. He is so distraught already as he sees his chance of major points fade away, knowing that his main rival for the championship is P1 right now. But that is a hugely significant moment in the championship as the driver P2, who was running eighth on the road, still had the pit stop cycle to go. That's strange, really. He lifted out the throttle just a little bit as they do with the heavy fuel load, older tyres. You can't quite keep it flat out. When he got back on the throttle, it coughed and spluttered, and he's got no power. That picture tells a story. For Teo Porcher, his dreams of the title, taking a major blow here. We're going three abreast. Up down the straight, Fittipaldi round the outside, gets squeezed over the curve. There's a bit of contact. Oh, Do end up in the gravel? In. They all are still pointing in the right direction, and I'm not sure how. Lawson and Fittipaldi fighting corner after corner with Vashore trying to take advantage of this. Can Fittipaldi go all the way round the outside of Ravage? The answer's no. He had an opportunity. Good defensive driving. Richard Vashore goes to the outside, both with DRS open. And here we go for Vashore. They both have DRS, but one of them's got possession of fifth place. More moves further back. Awasa trying to take the position away from Hauger. He's going to be sent the long way round, and he's going to be sent off the road. The two Red Bull Juniors nearly coming together, staying ahead on the soft tyres that are fading. Is Hauger coming alive on the mediums. Jack Dewan's coming, so he's done the opposite to Drogovic. Will he be able to now get those tyres up to temperature and take the fight to Drogovic while he's still on the old set of tyres? So he has gone aggressive. Drogovic usually tries to make the tyres last as much as possible. We've seen that at every race apart from Budapest. And they just did not have the set up there. He's ahead of Lawson. He's ahead of Fittipaldi. They jumped to the tyre earlier, so he can now bring it in. They've let... got Beckman. Beckman's going to get uh, past here. So Beckman in the Van Amersfoort car, unable to contend. He had track position for all of a few seconds, but no tyre temperature. So through goes Lawson, through goes Fittipaldi, and Beckman drops off what was a podium position. Great defensive driving. A uh, little bit of a victim of his success, really, because he outperformed his best all the way through. Trying to go around the outside is Fittipaldi. These two wheel to wheel again. Fittipaldi off the road again. And he is fuming with Lawson. This one getting personal, but he'll have to give it back once more. We now have the race leader in the pit stop. This is in the balance now at the pit lane speed limit. The orange MP Motorsport car and that easy, undercut has worked. Got him. There you go, through La Source, and he will get the power down. The temperature will be the difference. You can see the car squirming all over the road and the undercut works for Duan, who takes the net lead of the race. It's only eighth now, but all those ahead still have to stop. And we await. To see coming into the pits, the man who has taken it a very long way. So he's gone early to that soft rubber. He's just managed to extend the stint just a little bit longer than those first couple that have come in. This is now a genuine race. Novelak has welcomed him, but this is now a genuine race for him to get podium positions. He's going to drop down the order, obviously, but come out still within touching distance of these early stoppers who started on the softer compound tyre. Armstrong's got his mirrors full of the first of many moves we can expect now from Richard Vashore, up to eighth. 
we're seeing move after move after move for Richard for sure, putting a smile on our face. I hope it's putting a smile on yours. DRS, check the mirrors. Here comes Richard for sure once again. Another position gained up to P5 for the driver who started seventh on the grid. And he is going to use the DRS, pull out of the slipstream. And this is going nicely to plan. We'll see what sort of pace he's got in reserve in clear air. And that's a brave move to the inside for Beckman. So for sure is up to fourth. Beckman up to sixth, but he couldn't keep it on the road. Zendeli is pulled over at the corner with no name. <laughs> there he is at turn nine. So the yellow flag is out. And the virtual safety car is deployed. The young man from Australia, a winner here in Formula 3 last year, a winner here in Formula 2 this year. He weaves across the line. Three times he's a winner this season, but for the first time in Formula 2, it's feature race victory for Duan, who has beaten Dragovic. But Dragovic will be delighted with that P2 because it gives him one hand on the trophy. Holy yes, boys. What can I say, man? Perfect race. Finally, yes! Uh, I'm lost for words. We've, um, this is just the beginning, I tell you. Thank you guys so much. Jack Dewan, a feature race winner in his rookie season. Felipe Dragovic taking a large step forward to the title. That said, this is Formula 2 and anything can happen. Liam Lawson completing the podium. Great drive through the field for Richard for sure. Strong points once again for Enzo Fedipaldi, but not the pace that he would have wanted. Logan Sargent is in sixth, David Beckman seventh, and then Awasa charged through along with Vip's final point going to Clement Novelak. It's Jack Dewan's day, and the Australian heading to the top step of the podium. You know what's coming. Australian on the top step means only one thing, feature race victory and the joy of a shoey for Jack, for Jack Dewan.